guys, recording. it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm in Rome, New York today with a bunch of friends that have come out to check out some of the new products. Uh, the Grip Launch line that will be available March of 2018 and the brand new Signature Series line, which is three products. I know, I apologize, I don't have labels yet. The products are ready to go and they've been shipping all over the planet for about a month now. Uh, so a lot of people have plenty of opportunity um, will have had and will have plenty of opportunity to use the products prior to the release date of the Signature Series, which will be December 1st, 2017. So you've got a few months for that. Uh, there's plenty of product out there, plenty of reviews already on the web, but I'm doing these little demos today to show these guys what's going on with the new products. So the one main product across all of my lines is the brand new Forever Rinseless. The biggest benefit to this is it's like infinite use detail juice, the stuff that you've all, all known and loved for years. Well, it's more concentrated and it also has the best qualities of the infinite force field two year coating in my line from the force field protection system. So if you take all of the best qualities of infinite use detail juice, you take all the best qualities of protection and gloss and slickness from the infinite force field and if these two had a superhero love child, it would be Forever Rinseless, for, for sure, without question. So those two products, all the best of those in one product is Forever Rinseless. So you get the acrylic and the hardener, you get the polymers from the Infinite Use Detail Juice, which produces the slickness and the gloss with the protection of the acrylic in the Infinite Force Field. Uh, so. That's really all you need to say about that one product. So we have a gallon of water in a bucket. It's not complicated. The Signature Series line will be released initially in only eight ounce. Um, you'll find that because they're all concentrates, they'll go a really long way. But this literally is the best of the best from my entire lineup and every line that's in it. This and the other two products are the best of the best. So, uh, one ounce per gallon for the Gary Dean wash method. If you don't know what that is, you're underneath a rock for years, but uh, Google it and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. The benefit of the Gary Dean wash method uh, over every other rinseless method, or even traditional for that matter, is that you're never reintroducing the old dirt that came off the car back onto the car or even into the wash bucket. So. With that said, the caps on the 8 ounce bottles and my 16 ounce bottles from my current lineups are a quarter of an ounce. Forever Rinseless dilutes one ounce per gallon of water for not only the Gary Dean wash method, but also for the pre-soak and all the other dilutions and products that this one concentrate makes. So I put one ounce, which is four capfuls, into a bucket of water to three, four, just in case you don't know simple math, which you should by now if you follow what I'm doing, but four equals one ounce of these capfuls. So I've got one gallon of water, one ounce of product. There's no doubt that the product's in there. Eddie, if you want to show them inside the bucket, the whole solution's pinkish red now. So there's no question about whether or not the polymers are surrounding the water molecules because you can see it in the bucket. Now I've got some of the 16 by 16 general pur purpose uh, microfiber towels that I sell on detailjuice.com. For this demo, I'm actually going to use just one towel. I'm not going to bother with loading up the bucket with towels and all of that. For the demo, we're going to do that quarter panel of the caddy. You want to show them how dirty this is? We've been riding around in the rain. Yesterday it was raining real bad. The Cadillac was clean when I first got in it, but you can see what I did, just wiping off all that dirt. All right, so we had just a little bit of a technical difficulty. I forgot to grab a spray bottle. However, we still have everything we need. We have the spray bottle. It's not my spray bottle, but it is one that will function fine. So you saw me make the dilution situation for the wash. Now for the pre-soak, and now if you follow my videos, you will, will have seen a recent video where I say it's best to always pre-soak because that's how you get the best end result without installing 
swirl marks or any additional swirl marks that you don't need to install by not doing a, a pre-soak. So the pre-soak will encapsulate the dirt and lift it off the surface, helping you to move it out of the way more safely. And in theory, it's not gonna rub that grit into the paint creating scratches because the polymer is encapsulating the dirt and lifting it off the surface. So with that said, you could very well stick an empty bottle inside that wash bucket. It's the same dilution. It is one ounce per gallon of water. So basically, if you're looking at a dilution ratio, it's one part product to 128 ounces of water. Or in most situations, you'll have to pour a little bit out if you're using distilled water, if you fill the gallon up. So it's basically one part product to 127-ish ounces uh, of water, if that makes sense. So it's the same dilution for pre-soak and all the other things that the Infinite Use Detail Juice does. The Forever Rinseless will do all of that too. Interior wipe down, it's anti-static, all of that good stuff. Crazy slickness, crazy gloss on the outside. It cleans well and it protects well. But where I'm at right now is we have a bottle filled with about 15 ounces of water. It's a 16 ounce bottle. Um, the reason I'm not telling you to dunk your spray bottle in the pre-mixed wash water is because you're going to need all that wash water, especially if you're going to clean up the wheels and that kind of thing. So I don't want you to have to take that solution out. I want you to be able to use it. <laughs> all right, cool. So we're going to make the dilution uh, for your pre-soak. Uh, I shot another take. It went badly. I got carried away. I was like, let's just pour more in the bottle. So. Uh, I got one of my bottles here. These are the, actually the ones I sell on detailjuice.com, but it doesn't have my sticker on it. It does have my sticker on it, but not the one that's supposed to have. So, Forever Rinseless, for a 16 ounce bottle. Now, this is gonna rack your brain a little bit because some of you out there can't do dilutions to save your life, but it's okay. Uh, 16 ounce bottle, you get one ounce per gallon, okay? So that means there are eight 16s in a gallon. If you take 128 ounces, which is how many is in a gallon, divide that by eight, you've got 16. So you've got eight of these bottles in a gallon. What I usually recommend when you're pre-diluting you're, uh, pre diluting stuff to use it is I make a gallon of everything. So you take a gallon of water, you pour an ounce or two out, because that's just how stuff fits in those gallon jugs from the, the store, you're going to put a, an ounce of this, which is four capfuls in the gallon. I made a mistake on the other take. I was putting a, an ounce in a 16 ounce bottle. Bad idea. Uh, I caught myself though, and that's where we're at now. So I left room in there for a quarter of a quarter of an ounce. So one fourth, divide this into fours, just trying to make it as easy to understand as possible. So one quarter of this one quarter cap is all you're gonna put in a 16 ounce bottle. Okay? That is all that you need. Now this is the exact same dilution as that, but you're not gonna use that water, which you could, because you want that gallon to do the car. You want a little bit more than you need, for every possible situation. So, forever rinseless, all diluted, ready to go for the pre-soak. Always shake it up, put it on spray. We're ready to go with forever rinseless for the pre-soak and for the wash. So, we're gonna do this uh, quarter panel right here. So for the Gary Dean wash method, start from top to bottom. Use as much as you want until you feel like you've lubricated the surface enough to help you with swirl marks. If you had a uh, pump sprayer, a gallon or two gallon pump sprayer, you can get those at Walmart or wherever else. Uh, those actually will help a lot because you're not having to trigger spray the whole time. So now that panel is pre-soaked. So the chemicals are doing their job to break up the dirt and grime so that when I go over it with the towel, it's not going to scratch the paint the same way it would if you didn't do the pre-soak. 
You always get, anytime you're washing, swirls happen. Bottom line, I'm not a swirl Nazi. I could care less. Of course, I can fix them. Some of you might be saying, well, we can't fix them. Well, continue watching my videos and I'll show you how to fix them yourself. It's not complicated. But as far as the wash goes, pull a towel out of the bucket. Don't wring it out much because you want that solution to do the work. Fold it into fours. Start from top to bottom. You're not putting pressure down because you don't want to rub that grit into the paint. But you're just gliding it across the surface from top to bottom. Just like so. All the dirtiest stuff is on the bottom. You see all that dirt that came off that panel? Now the beauty of the Gary Dean wash method is that that dirt that just came off that car will never see that car again, ever. So I've got three more sh sides of this because I use four sides of a 16 by 16 towel before I discard it and grab another towel out of the clean bucket. So I've got three more panels I can do with this. However, not gonna bother with that right now. I'm gonna go straight into the Gary Dean wash method drying towel. Fold that in fours and start from top to bottom. Oh my God, it's so slick. Of course, I would say that. I would pump this stuff up as hard as I can on these videos. Because you all know, I'm a businessman and I like to make money. But I'm also a detailer. And if I can't use this stuff every day to make myself and my business thrive, I would never try to sell it to you. It's, you wanna, anybody wanna come feel how slick, I mean, it's ridiculous how slick this is. Feel how slick it is. Just looking at it from the back. I mean, the it's legit, ridiculously slick. Without any snotty residue, without any caked on product, without any real effort at all. I literally just wiped this stuff on and wiped it off and it's done. I mean, it, it looks amazing. The gloss is phenomenal. The slickness, I mean, it, I don't even know what, to, what else to say. The slickness is amazing. The acrylic that's in Forever Rinseless takes an hour to cure. Same way in Infinite Force Field and Force Field Pro, it takes an hour to cure, period. Now, some of the other products have the acrylic in them, but they don't have the hardener, which is what gives you your scratch resistance. Uh, the hardener also gives you your thickness uh, and really helps to give you more hardness uh, than just the acrylic alone that basically solidifies the acrylic in place making it last a lot longer in addition to the scratch resistance and that kind of thing that you get the chemical resistance the bird bomb etching resistance uh the hard water spot resistance and all of that stuff the hardener is a fantastic addition to the formula because it really creates an exterior sac sacrificial layer that is not only protecting the paint uh which is underneath the clear, but it's protecting the clear from the elements, which is really what we're trying to do here. So awesome slickness, awesome gloss, and in an hour, it's gonna have awesome protection to boot, and that's it. Very simple, it's not complicated. One product, literally this dilution right here can be used on the interior of the car. It can be used on leather, plastic, vinyl, rubber, any of that. Now, I'm gonna show you something pretty cool. I don't have, I need something to clean the wheel and tire with because I'm going to show you guys Forever Rinseless on the tires. So you just saw me wash the car with the product, right? Now you're going to see me dress the tires with it. It's crazy, right? I've been trying to promote that with Infinite Use Detail Juice for a long time, since its inception. In fact, it says... Doesn't, it says rubber, plastic, leather, vinyl, dressing. Doesn't specifically say tires, but 
absolutely you can dress the tires with it. This is a more potent, stronger formula with more of the chemical needed to make sure that the tires look awesome. So this even does a better job. So on the wheels, I'm not gonna get super creative on those. I'm literally gonna put this black tile in the solution. And I'm just gonna go to town real quick. Do you have uh, any IPC or anything in a spray bottle? Let's do that. Oh, that those have pro on them too. Just wanna clean the tires real, real quick. Get a lot of B-roll. Look at this. Look. It's a fancy quasar sprayer. I've never had good luck with these. I don't know how you like them, but so IPC. What's the dilution here, Mike? Uh, five to one. You're just gonna growl at me and not tell me? Five to one. Oh. <laughs> One to five. All right, cool. Just gonna go to town. Get these tires moderately clean. To get them max clean, you'd probably you'd generally use a brush. And I'm just using this uh, solution because I'm not gonna put it back on the paint. But uh, just give the wheels a, a quick clean and then I'll dry them real quick and show you forever endless on the tires. I always say if you can you can see the barrels they should be clean. So I'm just going at that real quick. I always say a microfiber is the br best brush you can buy. Stick the corner of a microfiber in any any nook and cranny you want to get into. Dry it off real quick. tire take a uh, just a tire a foam tire applicator mm, love me some cherries put a little bit in the foam applicator Looks like it's pretty well coated. Uh, it's just gonna take a couple minutes to dry, but you can see the difference already in just the section that was just wiped down with the or not infinite use detail juice, <laughs> the forever rinseless. If you want to show them the other side at a different angle, I don't know about you guys, but my opinion is it looks right.
quite a difference. Um, and for all intents and purposes of this demo, I'm going to use the other side with the brand new Signature Series Tough Tire Gel. And just show you the difference between the two. Mmm, this smells like bananas. I like it. can definitely see the difference in the depth. This uh, Tough Tire Gel leaves more of a, a deeper, blacker shine. Um, the Forever Rinseless leaves, if you apply, if you spray it on and wipe it in and then let the polymer dry and then smooth it over, you'll get far more gloss with the Forever Rinseless. However, for the way I like my tires, I don't like a lot of tire gel or I don't like them to look like I just blew my nose and wiped snot all over them. Um, I prefer them very similar to that look, but I like them dark like this. So I personally prefer the Tough Tire Gel over using Forever Rinseless as a tire gel. But my point is not what I like better. My point is you can use the one product to get far more end results in far more situations than you probably ever thought you could. So give a product like the Forever Rinseless and Infinite Use Detail Juice a, a try on tires if you've never used it before. I think you'll find that you'll like it a lot. But that's where we're at. You wanna give them a close up of the Tough Tire Gel? So that's where we're at, Rome, New York. I've been Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk only about my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Thanks so much for guys for taking the time to watch these videos. If you got any questions, 813-846-4406. That's my actual cell phone number. If you need me, I can't help you if you don't use the number. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day.